over the shallow reef and taking some beatings. Kelly also getting involved during the break. Got a quick little slash on the open face to try to get barreled. Got the float down on the inside. You know, it even comes down to your accommodation, where you stay, you know, how comfortable that is. All those little things really pay off. Now just seeing a beautiful read through this inside tube. And unfortunately, just going down. We love that inside from your angle as well, as we see a, a solid takeoff knifing that first section. Felipe Toledo getting his first wave of the matchup against Kelly. Um, and then, you know, you've got this guy right here. Kelly Slater setting this one up at back door. Now lining up the section, pulls in for a moment, makes it. Ton of foam on the face of this thing, and he has to try to punch wow. free of a haunted end section. Looks like he's got the job done with did, some speed, punch free. How did he get through that wave? Rodriguez, no. Oh, this is Kelly's one, I'm sorry, but even that one, Rodriguez could have had a, a part of. This end section here, though, have a look at this. Oh, you miss time that kick out and it's all over, but a good solid wave here for Kelly. Comes around, nice little cover up. It's not going to be a, a big score. Just happened, Kelly took this wave. Wow, have a look at that. Oh, and goes down at the end. And now more action pulling under a big section. Kelly Slater gets the exit. Big hack in transition from the two. Kelly is loving pipeline today. Behind the curtain, very, very important. Let's have a look at Kelly's wave here. Completely disappears, comes out nice and clean. This is what I like though. Beautiful tight snap in the pocket just to uh, put an extra half a point on that wave, but beautiful stuff there from Kelly. Jams it off the bottom, straight under the lip. I mean, that was perfect timing there from Kelly. Kind of just knows where everything's going to be. You know, there's no rush. But he also needs uh, Medina to lose either as early as the quarters or the semifinals. If Medina's in that final, that means he's already clinched his second world title here in 2018. Right here, let's have a look. Just a smaller wave. I think he's going to look. He's going to need the big set waves to beat Kelly. I mean, that's a nice, cute little wave there, but uh, to get those big scores, which is what he needs, Joe. Now watching live action, chipping in from out the back over the ledge. Kelly pulls in high, trying to sneak out the low road, and he'll get clipped yet again. Kelly's put in a, quite a show today with wipeouts and makes throughout the day. 6.93 on his way before. She got in and now drives off the bottom and look how high up on the face of the wave he gets i mean that is unusual to draw a line that high inside the barrel but he knows exactly what he needs to do and reason being to get that high you get a lot of speed to try and come back out through that bottom section to the shoulder taking a look at this wave kelly looks like he wants a part of it now setting up the right at back door a couple of driving turns and He'll go ahead and hop out of there. Great news from Waz there. Felipe just channeled some happy energy before this heat. Got the stress behind him from the title race. Sitting underneath the ledge though is Kelly. Knifes the takeoff. Wide open pit. Spits. And oh. now Kelly comes out. What? Unbelievable. Oh my gosh. Tube riding on the backhand. Bit off way more than expected. And still had time to make it out. Oftentimes you see the spit and the rider is right after and Kelly was just enjoying that vision from inside the pit. Let's have a look at it. Super late drop, pulls up nice and tight, driving through that section. He fell off and got back up onto his board. Uh, I mean, are you kidding me? Somehow comes out. <laughs> Well, is there anything this guy cannot do? Let's have a look here. Gets knocked off, grabs his board mid-flight, pulls it back underneath him, stands back up <laughs> inside the barrel. You've got to be kidding You've me. You've got to be kidding me. I mean, how did he get his... Because, I mean, he literally fell off his board. Just to create so much drama every time he gets to his feet. Knife in the takeoff now is Felipe Toledo. That wave spits everything out. Toledo still riding. He was chasing down a 687 pass. Did he get deep enough there? Uh, no, I don't think so, Joe. Um, I think he needed to really disappear. I think we were looking from a different angle as well. It's going to be interesting to see the straight on angle. A lot of that today. Let's have a look at Toledo. Drives off the bottom and only just disappeared. 
from this angle. Let's have a look at this angle here. I mean, did everything right though, didn't he? Perfect positioning. That was more of a pocket ride. You and I'd be happy with that. You know, and that's why, f for me, you want to come here with no pressure. You want to come here with a job done already. Knifing it under the barrel, deep at back door. Kelly Slater comes out after the spin and celebrates just a classic vintage look. Kelly's wave, on the other hand, well, this is going to be a keeper score for Slater. Comes out after the spit. The crowd love it. And Kelly's going to lock in another good score to back up that 6.93. Toledo at the moment needing a 6.87. That's going to be a whole lot more after that score gets locked in, Joe. Backdoor pipeline. Toledo right behind him. Couple of big drives still traveling deep in the barrel. Toledo oh. makes it out for a moment and gets clipped right by the lip on the exit. Exchange. Let's have a look at Toledo here. A bigger wave. He's do he's deep. He's gone. Traveling and just comes out. Catches that outside rail. Let's have a look at it. Unbelievable stuff here from Toledo. As he comes out, just a little bit off balance. Unfortunate there for Felipe. Unbelievable year for Felipe Toledo. Now it's all up to Julian Wilson and Gabriel Medina to decide the world title race. Kelly Slater playing spoiler in a massive way, just as we expected.